Hi dear students, today we are going to start uh, our new session. As you know due to this coronavirus attack, our schools are closed and uh, it may last for uh, a long period. Therefore, uh, we have to start our teaching learning process and uh, we cannot stop our uh, progress. Therefore, uh, we have uh, started, our school uh, have uh, decided to go through the video lectures and uh, today we will discuss uh, about the first chapter of biology in lecture 1 that is uh, the fundamental unit of life. Before going through the fundamental unit of life, we want to talk about uh, something about coronavirus. As you know, virus is a borderline between living and non-living things. When it is outside uh, the body of living things, it acts like non-living and uh, when it enters into the body of host or living being, then uh, it acts like uh, living things. And uh, many types of diseases are caused by this virus. Uh, many diseases are very mild as flu. But uh, this uh, corona becomes pandemic because it is uh, spread uh, throughout the world. And diseases which are uh, spread throughout the world, that is called pandemic disease. In comparison of that, we talk something about endemic disease. Endemic disease is limited uh, to a boundary, a small boundary a small region, a small locality, but whenever we talk about pandemic disease, it is worldwide. Therefore, uh, we must uh, care something in order to prevent the spread of this uh, disease because we know there is no medicine available uh, in the world. Therefore, uh, we have only measure we can prevent its uh, spreading. In order to prevent this uh, spreading of uh, this coronavirus, um, we should avoid the social gathering. Keep uh, washing your hand regularly. Don't try to touch your uh, mouth, nose, uh, eye without washing your uh, hand. Take uh, balanced diet so that uh, your immunity can be increased. If your immune system will be stronger, it will fight automatically from this uh, type of uh, virus. And uh, whenever you feel uh, high fever, headache, and uh, you should uh, go through the, and uh, you have uh, some breathing problems, then you must uh, contact your doctors. These are the things you should keep in your mind. Now, we are, uh, without wasting the time, we are going to start our uh, chapter, the fundamental unit of life. Here, uh, whenever we talk about uh, fundamental, fundamental it is uh, related to forming the basis of foundation of something. Here, uh, basis of foundation of our body. As uh, whenever we talk about this building, this building is made up of four walls and uh, two floors. This wall is made up of uh, bricks. The here bricks will be called fundamental unit or basic unit. Like that in the living body, cell is the fundamental unit or basic unit of the body. And whenever you talk about this unit as a part of the complex whole, unit whenever we talk about unit, it is as a part of the complex whole. We generally say our book having 20 units means one by one, one unit, two unit, three units, like that one cell, two cell, millions of cells. So it is a, this cell is unit structure. Whenever we try to simple definition of cell, cell is the structural and functional unit of living body. Here we again we are going to recall uh, two types of cell. One is animal cell, another is plant cell. By the structural difference, we will differentiate between plant and animal cell. 
whenever we talk about this animal cell its outer boundary is plasma membrane it is a double membranous structure and this is called plasma membrane inside the plasma membrane jelly like a structure is present that is called cytoplasm it is called cytoplasm and these are the organelles which are floating in the cytoplasm centrally located a structure that is called nucleus it is called nuclear nuclear in the nucleus a very small structure that is called nucleolus inside the nucleus this nucleus is also surrounded by double membranous structure and uh, inside the nuclear membrane nucleoplasm is there this one is the centrosome this one is the vesicle and when dot like a structure which is responsible for protein synthesis it is called ribosome this is small uh, vacuole like a structure that is called lysosome same type of structure that is called vesicle this uh, organelle that is called mitochondria so these are the typical it is a typical structure of animal cell and uh, you should know you should uh, make difference by diagrammatically what are the differences between plant cell and animal cell this one is the plant cell one very important difference this cell wall outer boundary here outer boundary was plasma membrane but here outer boundary was is cell wall after cell wall plasma membrane is there the it is the basic difference between plant cell and animal cell another difference in the cytoplasm chloroplast is present in the plant cell it is absent in the animal cell next uh, thing when we talk about this vacuole large vacuole is found in plant cell but a small vacuole is found in the animal cell it also have nucleus double membranous structure nucleolus and uh, a structure which is related to which is which can be compared with the golgi body of animal cell here in case of plant it is called dictyosome here vacuoles are large and uh, mitochondria is there this chloroplast is there it is a typical structure of plant cell and uh, it is about the uh, plant cell and animal cell next day we will discuss something more about